Hello children. So today we are going to start with our very first stage which is the infancy stage or uh, it is also called the sensory motor stage. So the sensory motor stage if you see it is of course given by the Pygott uh, stages of cognitive development and in the Pygott uh, stages of cognitive development the sensory motor is the very first one which is also the infancy stage, which is the very first stage towards the development of a child. And the age limit of this is zero to two years, you know. So right uh, once the baby is born, uh, up till two years of age is your sensory motor or the infancy stage. So in the infancy stage, we are going to be talking about, uh, of course, the newborn babies, you know, their motor development, uh, their sensory abilities, their cognitive development, you know, their socio-emotional development. So we'll be covering these, but of course in chunks to make the understanding much better. So if you see when we move on to, of course, our uh, newborns, you know, so newborns are not, uh, as we sometimes think, very, very helpless, you know, so... Um, the basic uh, uh, life functions are very much present in the newborn babies. And uh, so they can breathe, they can swallow, uh, uh, you know, uh, they can even uh, discharge their bodily wastes, you know. And um, so, so they can even uh, come to know that uh, the sound is coming from which direction and they can very well... Uh, differentiate between uh, their mother's voice uh, you know uh, with the voice of other people and uh, they can even imitate you know they can copy a few gestures common gestures like uh, the tongue protrusion and you know opening of the mouth and such are some of the gestures which these newborns tend to make you know when they imitate or so to say when they copy so uh, we'll be touching upon the motor development and the sensory abilities so when we talk about the motor development of these newborn babies, they are, uh, uh, you know, so to say their movements, the movements of these newborns, they are governed by the reflexes. And uh, these reflexes children are, uh, they are quite, uh, uh, you know, they are already inbuilt, they are already present and they are very, very automatic, you know, and not something voluntary, but very, very automatically these reflexes are performed. And they are genetically carried and they are called the survival mechanisms, you know, and uh, the building blocks, you know, uh, which we can say for the motor development, you know, for the basic movements of the body. So, um, so then, you know, of course, the basic reflexes can be coughing, blinking, yawning, and they are going to be there throughout their lives. So in the motor development, of course, we are going to be highlighting on their, their, their bodily movements, you know, and, uh, and uh, maybe some of the other reflexes can, you know, with time, with age can disappear uh, as per, uh, uh, you know, the uh, voluntary control because that's how uh, some of the reflexes, even they can control and they can, you know, work upon it and over the years they can disappear also. And uh, so, of course, when the brain is developing, there is a physical development also, which starts progressing. And uh, the muscles, the nervous system, all are maturing and they are leading to the development of the finer motor skills. Uh, not the gross ones, uh, which are probably more complex motor skills. We are looking at the finer motor skills, the basic, so to say, uh, the motor skills or the the physical uh, developmental uh, skills which involves, you know, uh, the physical activities, so to say. So these finer motor skills can be grasping, reaching out for objects, you know, maybe sitting, crawling, walking and even running, you know. And uh, this is something which universally happens and we do see certain uh, newborns, they start walking probably faster than the others. So everyone uh, probably can take their own pace, but this is something universal and every newborn will experience these kind of finer or the basic motor skills. And there can be some exceptions, you know, pertaining to any kind of 
abnormalities or pertaining to disorders so yeah there are exceptions there can be few minor exceptions but these this is what universally uh, happens in the sensory abilities uh, you know these newborns of course are going are able to recognize their mother's voice and just after few hours of their birth and uh, you know so uh, they also like to see uh, uh, you know uh, look at uh, some stimuli rather than you know uh, the others so there are particular maybe faces that they would like to see you know and uh, and of course in the very first few months their preferences can keep changing but they do get fond of particular faces and they come uh, they become familiar with a couple of them and um, their vision is in the beginning of course lower than the adult and by 6 months it becomes the same you know 20 by 20 and uh, they are able to see colors especially they can distinguish between the white and the the red colors and uh, initially they are uh, slightly you know color deficient and uh, uh, their full color vision uh, is developed by the time they are 3 months old and um, of course uh, they can hear as soon as they are born you know and um, they can very well uh, even um, uh, they can respond to touch they can respond to something painful as well so their taste and their smell both are very much present as soon as they are born so um, this was all about their sensory abilities and of course their motor development where we are talking more about the fine motor skills and not uh, you know moving directly to the gross ones which are more complex but we are talking about the physical the basic the very basic physical activities which these newborns can do probably between zero to two years of age which generally everybody uh, is able to uh, the basic walking sitting you know slight uh, uh, running also and of course the, these little ones run very fast you know so there can be few exceptions so this was all about uh, highlighting their sensory and the motor development and uh, of course generally that how uh, even these newborns if you come to see they are very much able to recognize the voice and how they have these inbuilt reflexes already present and how their taste and smell is already developed you know and it's just about uh, you know their vision which takes about six months to develop properly and the color vision for approximately three months so this was about it and next we'll be talking about uh, the cognitive development which is the most important and also we'll be highlighting the socio development thank you so much